internets. Internets hanging out tonight at the New Balance store. They're having a little event tonight, a little in-store event. So we're gonna hold on to some New Balance tonight. Um, do not sleep on New Balance. We talked about New Balance before. Sneaker fiends don't sleep on New Balance. And all my all my OGs from DC, Maryland, y'all know what New Balance is. I don't have to tell y'all. But listen, if you're sleeping on, on MB, if you're sleeping on this end right here, all right, maybe this maybe this shoe right here is a little too crazy for you. Let's get into some classic New Balance right now. Let's get some classic New Balance. Okay. Internet. Internet. New Balance 993. Unfuck with Okay? You can't fuck with this shoe. You can't shit on this shoe right now, okay? This is the shoe for hustlers and college professors. Alright? I mean, that's how, that's the, the, the demographic that crosses over into this shoe right here, okay? Dope boys and tenured university professors, all right, a 993 class, all right, all right, they got a bunch of dope colorways for that 993 too, you know, the gray is classic, but the navy, the navy right there, you gotta, you gotta fuck with the navy too. Right? Don't just have the gray in your, in your, in your archive. Get the navy off. Such a dynamic shoe. Now listen to this though. Listen to what I heard about this shoe. The 993 is about to be discontinued. The 993 is about to go out of production. Is that, is that true, New Balance? That's what I heard. If the 993 is discontinued, internet, you're about to lose one of the most classic shoes of all time. All right? Stock up on these if you can. Pop a few pairs. If they, if they shut this down, man, you, you're never going to get this flavor again. We had the New Balance spot, man. Just checking out some New Balance stars. So this is the shoe that's going to replace the 993. This is the 990. Oh, all right? All right. Still got flavor, still got, you know, got that 3M pop to it, all right? You know how New Balance do with that 3M, right? Pop, pop, it's kind of hot in here. Let me, let me wipe my brow, let me wipe the sweat off my brow. It's getting hot in here, all right? New Balance got heat. Internet. Burn rubber. All right, you got your burn rubbers? Okay. Burn rubber from New Balance. Burn rubber by New Balance. Look at that joint. Look at that collab right there. Look at that 3M. Look how that 3M is popping on Look at that 3M. You didn't even know that was 3M, did you? Until the light hit it. And then you seen the pop. Alright? New Balance, you, you crazy for that. Internets, internets. I just had to put on my safety goggles because now I'm with Sean. We're inside the New Balance lab. We're about to make a pair of shoes. Sean, how long have you been making shoes for New Balance? Currently a month. Currently a month. Okay, okay. Sean, we, you maybe put on safety goggles, so that means that uh, you know what you're doing here. Exactly. Okay. Sean, take us through, through the process. Kind of give us the abbreviated process of how great shoes are made. Sounds good. Let's go to the first station. This is the conditioning station. Okay. Where we're going to steam the upper mm -hmm. to make it more pliable and flexible mm -hmm. to fit over the mold, which we call the last. Okay. I'm going to steam that upper for about 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. It's also going to get the wrinkles out mm. so it fits perfectly over the mold. Yeah, get, get the wrinkles out because like you know how sneaker fiends we hate we hate our shoes to be creased. I mean eventually all shoes get creased, but in the beginning you want them to be crispy. Exactly. Nice. After it steams. Wow. Very flexible. Look at that. Then I'm gonna make some minor adjustments just to make sure it's sitting perfectly. Mm -hmm. To make sure it's almost lined up and level with that red dot. Okay. Got it. I'm then going to push down the toe tab mm -hmm. to get the seaming underneath the shoe. Okay. I'm also going to make sure that little tiny dot mm -hmm. is centered with the end. Mm. And it is. Mm -hmm. 
Later on, that little dot will be covered by the toe flap. Okay, okay. I see that, I see that. Wow, wow. I mean, almost, I could, I could almost make this. I mean, I can't do this, but I could almost, you're, you're making it so that I could almost do it. Exactly. Pretty good, Sean. The next station mm -hmm. is the market press. Okay. These still are 100% separate pieces. Yes. This machine is going to push the upper to the sole. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take an ultraviolet pen mm -hmm. and trace around where they come together. And that, I will explain why I'm doing this in a second. Okay. The next station mm -hmm. is the grooming station. Okay. And I'll show you a shoe in your area. Under the light, you can see the lines. Mm -hmm. that go all the way around the shoe. Yes. And that's so I know where to put the sole. Okay. As well as where to place the glue. Okay, okay. And the glue won't, you won't place the glue outside of those lines. Correct. Okay, okay, okay. I'm then going to glue the bottom of the upper mm -hmm. and the sole. Mm -hmm. And that takes around 15 minutes to dry. Okay. After it's dry, I'm going to take it to the flash activator. Yes. This is the oven that heats the glue. Ah. So this is this oven actually takes New Balance heat and makes puts heat onto the feet. Exactly. Okay. The glue that we use is only activated by heat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. The upper is going to go on the right. The sole is going to go on the left. Mm -hmm. It's going to come down and heat both sides. Mm. Mm. It's going to be in there for around 15 seconds at 120 mm -hmm. Once it comes out of the machine, I'm very quickly going to go to the ultraviolet light again. Okay. And I'm going to follow the exact marks that I made at the marking press. First with the toe. And the front. Once that's together, mm -hmm. I will flip it over and basically follow the lines with the rest of the shoe. Gotcha, gotcha. Once I'm happy with how that sits and looks, mm -hmm. we're gonna take it to the sole press. Mm -hmm. This machine's gonna press the shoe upside down for 25 seconds mm -hmm. at 45 pounds per square inch. Okay. Now, Sean, let me ask you a question. 45 pounds per square inch, what's that, is that equal to a person stepping in or is that maybe twice the weight? Maybe that's an elephant stepping in at 45 pounds. That's more than an elephant. Oh, more than an elephant, okay. This machine has enough pressure to lift the car. Really? Okay, so then that's like a dinosaur. <laughs> that's like a brontosaurus stepping in the shoes. So you know that once this is done, your sole ain't coming off. Okay, okay. As you can see from this ladder side, mm -hmm. it's gonna come down around the shoe mm -hmm. and press it under a vacuum. Okay, okay. Once it's out of the machine, we're gonna go to the delasting station, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is basically taking the shoe apart from its mold. Okay. Once I do that, we do some standard inspection checks mm -hmm. to make sure everything looks good and sits right. Mm -hmm. And then that is your shoe, assembled from the components. Man, this is an awesome shoe. This is an awesome shoe. So the 880, made in America, by Sean. And what I would like your viewers to know is next month I'm going to be switching lines to the 574 Lifestyle Shoe, mm -hmm. which is 100% made and manufactured in the United States. Mm -hmm. And it's also going to be 100% customizable. Wow. So wow. you have a different top, different sole, and it'll be also, you can have... You can make the 574 your own personal shoe. Exactly. Why not? Why not? In New York. Right here in the store. Right here. Sean, that's fantastic. I, the, the viewers know that now. Internets, did you hear that? Sneaker Fiends, did you hear that? The 574, the classic, the iconic, the undefeated New Balance shoe. The 574 can't be stopped. Exactly, have a shoe to fit your style right mm. here in New York City. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Internets, we just, Sean just showed us how he puts New Balance shoes together. I mean, come on, made in America? 
Internet, what's, what's the last shoe you had that was made in America? Okay? You don't have any shoes that are made in America, okay? Get a pair of shoes that's made in America. Matter of fact, get a pair of shoes made by Sean, okay? You can trust Sean. He knows what he's doing. He made me wear safety goggles, okay? Alright? Thanks, Sean. Thank you.